It's a terrific night for hockey in the city of Denver, where fans have streamed in wearing jerseys with a Bigfoot imprint on the shoulder. They are fans of the Colorado Avalanche. Greetings, everyone. Along with Eddie Olchek, Mike Embrick, there is a certain restlessness about the arena atmosphere tonight because nobody wants to be embarrassed with a sweep, not the players and certainly not the fans. But this is 0-3, and the home team is thinking what? Let's win the first period. Uh, that needs to be the goal of the home team. Don't worry about the score. Don't worry about the series numbers. Worry about winning the first period. You're looking to gain some momentum at some point here, Doc. Hasn't been great to this point, but win the first period and build some confidence because right now they are lacking that. We direct our attention to the Nets and the starting goalies. In goal tonight is Jonathan Bernier. He won a game in a football stadium in front of over 105,000 people in Ann Arbor in a shootout. Chosen 11th overall by Los Angeles in the 2005 entry draft, he won a Stanley Cup with those Kings. Ronta's the man at the other end of the ice for the Coyotes. McKinnon's star status is known. That's why he gets to start this game. I'm Mike Emmerich with Eddie Olchek and Ray Ferraro. This playoff game has started. Puck covered, whistle blown. Play is stopped. Let's hear from Ray. Colorado's played themselves back into a corner. There's nowhere to go from here. They better play well, or their season's going to end in the conference final. Arizona's got that win. A shot batted off the glove. Puck covered, whistle blown. Face off win here. Two sticks together, they cancel. The Coyotes continue on through the neutral zone. Terrific interception. Gains the blue line. Shoots one. Freezes play. Arizona's got a defensive zone win. Knocked to a knee. It's loose. Slid to Johnson. Looking to Ekman Larson. Good intercept. And he is reefed. Stepan's a player that always reacts positively to a physical game. This time, he's trying to set the tone early with a good hit. the point of drive oh and he is drilled that was a major league collision oh what a play take it over again wonderful play by the defense on to reader nicely received at the point just threw it into his pad there he always plays with an aggressive bent to his game. That's a solid hit early in the game here. There's no score. We'll see if that can be a spark that pushes his team forward. Just over six minutes gone. No goals to report yet. Good job on that faceoff, tying the man up. Into the end of attack. That puck is free, went off somebody. Let's it go. Oh, and he misses. We're not going to get many chances. Oh, terrific save on a great chance. Not often you're all alone in front of the goaltender from this area of the ice. Great save. Mashed in. Picks it up in his own end. And now it's directed to Soderberg. To Como. Dumped in. Has it in his own end. The Coyotes wheel it up the wing. Takes that pass. 
Takes that pass from the other point. Shot deflected. I like high event games. This start is very low event. Not very much happening. No shots, no chances. He's got him against the glass. Kicked out of the scrum. Shoots it off. Hangs on to that one, and he'll see a face-off right here. Solid, clean win. Oh, and he's hammered. This guy can play any way you want, and there, the physical side. Propelled to Richardson. Score! With the goal scorer right in front, it was tough for the goaltender to pick up the shot off the backhand. Bring is in the butterfly trying to take away the percentages, but he doesn't cover the net. Richardson's come up strong here for his team, ending a scoreless game. There was a feeling out process until that first goal of the game. Arizona's got that one. Now what? The Coyotes up the wing are moving the puck. Up to the point. And he hatchets one. Thrown in. Knocked off the puck. Terrific point blank save. Seems like he was in too tight on the goaltender. Routine stop for the goaltender. The shooter's going to have to do a much better job challenging him. Over seven minutes to go here in the first. The Coyotes ahead, 1-0. Defensive zone win. The Coyotes organizing back in their own end. Chooses the corner for this. Waffle boarded. Nicely off that bump. The Avs with a face-off win. Knocked right down to a knee, and it's loose. Has that point pass as well. Tip by the stick. That's just good fundamental defense. Score! You get this close to the goaltender, the puck on your stick, you got to snap it quick. Really good positioning. He's in the butterfly where he's got most of the net covered. But there's obviously a hole in the pucks behind him. The Avs control at center ice. Gains the zone. He's got it. Solid defensive play there. The Avs love the puck in their own end. One timer. He scores. Three straight goals. High hard heater here, Doc. He can't catch this one. Just over four minutes left in the first. Do you see a pattern developing here? They're up now by three. Colorado's in control through the neutral zone. It's dumped in. Ponick's got to shovel it out of there. Pass attempt to step on. Moving it to Ponick. Gets in, looks over his options here. He's going to the net. 
Colorado setting it up as they move through center. Oh, did he ever get mashed? Ekman Larson's not strictly a finesse player. He uses the body to his advantage quite frequently. Great opportunity, but the pass didn't connect. The clock bleeds down to the last minute. Loose puck brought in by Jalmerson. In the fourth period. Still has control up the wing. A shot! Oh, what a stop! The goalie makes himself look big. Arizona's very fortunate to have a goal scorer like this in their lineup night after night. In the playoffs, it becomes so difficult to get any room to score. Yet he does it, and he sits at the top of the league. Tied up, but a good reach and a good step in there for possession. Twenty minutes have been played so far. One coach won't need to say much. The other will say plenty. Stay warm and stylish at the break with our specially priced item tonight. Our game team start priced at just ten dollars. Hurry into our main store. Bernier's performance so far not one he's proud of. As we head to break. One period down, another period beckons here. What did you think of the first? The abs are down in this game, Doc, and rightfully so. They did not manage the puck at all. If they want to get back in that game, they got to eliminate those turnovers. Second period has begun. They started even, but one team's in a hole. The abs control the play in the defensive zone. Closed off and sealed on the boards. Continues on back a little farther. The abs have it up the wing. Snapped off a wrist shot. Ah, that's a good pad save. He's in on an onside play. Score! Four goals in a row for the same team. The shooter had a couple of different options here. He could pass or shoot. He decided on the ladder and beat the goaltender clean. His technique is good. The butterfly is really solid. He just gets beaten with a better shot here. Right. Goalie to the bench. Substitution made. Well, not much surprise here. The coach has clearly seen enough. And because he can't bench the whole team, what he's going to do is get his goaltender out of there and let him have a bit of a break. The Coyotes have added to their lead. They are heavily out shooting the opposition, and we look at the opposition bench and do not see a white flag yet. Pitching it to Johnson. Let's it go. Block it away. Derek Stephan. Time of the goal, two minutes, two seconds. Clean win on the draw. Nice tip of the pass. He takes that pass right off the left wing. And quickly to Ekman Larson. Perfect tip by the stick. Nicely into the zone. Goes back deep for it. He can start some danger here. And angled to Memo. Shoots off a body. Put covered. Whistle blown. And the added pressure and pace of the playoffs haven't affected him one bit, have they, guys? Here he is in the top ten. A little over five minutes play. The Coyotes fully in control based on that last goal. Their lead is now four. Laid on to Domi. Good job off that left wing and a perfect pass. No! I don't see too many guys getting away of blocking that shot. That thing had some heat on it. The Coyotes are having one of those nights where everything goes their way. You never want these to end because they don't happen that frequently. 
Wonderful block. Colorado's moving the puck up the wing. He's got that point pass. Big, what a move on that one with the stick. A whistle and a rest. Ranta's going to be able to make that save all day. His positioning is perfect. It's not a difficult scoring chance. A good tie up on the faceoff. That led to his team getting the puck. Puts one on. Just wide. Everything's got to go through the middle of the ice. That's exactly where he was, but he missed the chance. Arizona's getting to the neutral zone. The Coyotes with possession up the wing. Attack zone possession here. Oh, what a save. He brought his best shot, and it got stopped. Colorado is sent to the box for two minutes. It's tripping. He's got great stick positioning. Stick is on the ice, but unfortunately takes the skates out from under him. And so begins power play number one. Let's see if it's power play goal number one. Big faceoff win. Got that pass near the blue line and now looks ahead. Box loose. The roadblock got in the way. Nice job. Straight stand-up poke check. Passing one off now to Andrighetto. Maintaining possession up the wing. Heads on to the corner. Blocked away. He's pinned. Broken up well with the poke check. Gets in. What'll he do? Oh, stick save. Jostled Barclay down. He lost it. He covers and holds on. Just over nine minutes left to go. You can see momentum in this game. It has shifted, and it is expanding even more. The advantage is four goals. And he dumps it in. Right on his stick from the left wing. Colorado's done a wonderful job of penalty killing, and so we're back even. Well, that was the power play that you could show to the players tomorrow and say, this is what you don't do. That power play was brutal. Gives it to the point. Not through. He gains the zone. He is shut right off. I wonder if that hit will change the momentum of this game. Wrist shot. Held there for a faceoff coming up next. McKinnon's just like his team, losing. Great glove save, but it's loose. And another save. Possession taken by Ekman Larson. That one is pointed to him. Score! That's his first playoff goal. time and space there to let that wicked shot go from far out. That is a heavyweight shot. That would have been save of the year candidate right there. He tried to make an unbelievable glove stop. Just doesn't get there. The Avs haven't struck for much, but they've struck now. And maybe they can build on that here in the second. Tie up and help from the winger. Through the corner now. Carried to the corner by Ponning. And by number 90. A free puck now. Time of the goal. Colorado's controlling play through center. Let's it go. Wonderful save of an all-star shot. And the possession taken up by Stepan. Carries it to the corner. Controlled by Ponick. A shot. Tipped. 
play is stopped and now we'll hear the call. Colorado's roster goes down by one here at least briefly a minor penalty for hooking. The referees are looking for this anytime you stop skating and reach with your stick and pull on the opponent you're going to the penalty box. Arizona's power play gets another chance to operate hasn't been effective yet. High up there and a good reach and possession. Cleared back along and out of harm's way. Arizona's in their own end and carrying it on. Gets in and he'll look over his options. Let's it go. Gives it over to the point. Long lead pass to Ekman Larson. Pass across at the point. Tips it back. Big shot from the point. Tries to clear. And that one cleared by the penalty killers. The drama heightens in this final minute of the second period. The Coyotes up the wing. Lock the puck. Colorado's penalty kill comes through. Now we're back even. This is when coaches get really frustrated. The players are on the ice. They've worked on this power play multiple times. Terrific glove save. Two periods have been played. They've worked pretty hard at it, and they get a well-deserved rest. Third period coming up shortly. A look at the shots on goal through two. A lucky 13 for Colorado. A lucky 13 for the Coyotes. The apps with the scoring of this goal have clawed their way back closer. We'll see if there's momentum from this when we continue after this. third period about to begin the rear view mirror will help us with the first two and so will Edzo. the coyotes have had their way the first 40 minutes of play pretty much in every category possible most importantly with this real comfortable lead do they sit on it or look to add to it here in the third free puck off a defender looks from the corner one timer score he's got his second What a beautiful pass to set up this one-timer. He just wasn't able to get over and cover the top of the net. The shot's perfect. It's right in the roof, and the goalie's dejected. Arizona's goal has staked them to an even larger lead on a night that they have had the offense going. Third period of play. He's fifth for the playoffs. Snapping a pass to Ponning. Solid neutralized poke check. Moved along and in. Shoots. That shot came from just six inches. Terrific stop from right in front of the net, but you've got to find a way to put the puck in the net. Grab! What a glove save. He showed him the glove and he took it away. Stepan's still feeling the effects of that huge hit. He's got to learn you cannot play with your head down at this level. Nice face-off work. Pinned up against the glass right now. Skate kick out of the scrum. The abs in possession as they travel in their own end. Gains the zone and looks over his options. Puck covered, whistle blown. A little over three minutes off the clock in the third. You can see momentum in this game. It has shifted, and it is expanding even more. The advantage is four goals. The Coyotes continue on at center. Terrific handoff. Fires! That shot came from nowhere. Uh, with this puck being so close to that, this is all a reactionary save. In front! 
pitching this one to Ekman Larson. A good cut of the pass that can keep the pressure on. He's trying to spring him ahead, and he's got him. What a hit. He wanted... Oh, great save there. Not much room to work, but he got a good shot away. Marches on a cross. Got it at the point. Wonderful chance was set up, and the pass just goes wide. Buck is thrown to Como. Rifled that pass straight up to Soderbergh. Enormous hit. The Coyotes want to generate something up the wing. My, what a hit. Terrific job in holding the puck in. Carries it to the corner. Toward the net. That shot hit a man. One timer. He scores. Two straight goals. You one time the puck like this, it's going to surprise a lot of goaltenders. The passer recognizes that he's got to get the puck up in the air, but he displays sweet hands as it goes just over the stick and lands flat on the ice. Arizona's goal has built an even bigger lead. We're in the third period. For the opposition, at least that is fortunate. Arizona Good reach there. For the and he steps across the line. Right to the point. And snap the Barbarian. Knocks it away with the stick. Trying to go to Ponick. Gains the zone. Let's it go. All a part of generating an offense. A little pass off from the goal. Chip to Landeskog. Waffle boarded. Scrum over. Puck kicked. He takes that point pass. Score! <laughs> the defensive players were just running out of gas they were running around their own zone you got to tip your helmet to the offensive players for that shift they really had it coming the speed of this is too much for the goalie Eddie he's in position he just can't catch up to it the abs have gotten one a little more respectable but they trail by a whopping score can they turn this into some sort of positive to continue the rest of the way and maybe give us hope that this isn't going to be a cakewalk Puck grab, what's next? Slides it to the point. Strong play, good reach. Shoots one. Score! A pair of goals by the same team. Landis Cox's quick hands allowed him to snap that one off and score the goal. And so good airtime on this pass. Flat when it lands, and the shooter has a walk in. Colorado's gotten one here. That's something. But they still have a big hill to climb if they're going to make this respectable. We're in the third period. Nicely into the zone. Fires. Got his stick on it. Good help for the centerman. Keeps it going up the wing. Pass cut, strong play. I'm not so sure any of the coaches want this game to be played like it is, but there is no slowing the scoring down. There's been great goals, bad goals, and a few in between. Receives that pass from the other side. Great save. Looking for options. What a save, considering the shooter that's usually in.
The Coyotes with a clean win on the draw. Directing that one to Cousins. The goalie gets to the bench. Still, there's time on this delayed call. A shot. The shot is off. When the puck sounds hard, when it hits the end boards, that means you've missed the net. Scoring chances handed away. Yakupov's going to the box, and the call is driven. Well, in desperation mode, all he was trying to do was sweep the puck away, but unfortunately caught the player's skates. Well, the power plays had some good opportunities so far here tonight. They have to stay with their game plan. I sure agree, Eddie. We're expecting that to happen here. Let's see if it does. Looking to Andrew Ghetto. Mashed in. And he's hammered. Nieto's always been a leader for his club, and now he's trying to push the rock up the hill as they get themselves back to within level striking distance. A shot. Robbery there. Puck covered. Whistle blown. Zadorov's skating ability gets him into position here to deliver a crushing hit. A little under three minutes to go in the third. A four-goal lead recently became a three. I wonder if complacency set in here. Shoots one. Clogged. The Coyotes start the rush up ice. Arizona's carrying on up the wing. Must get it out. Gets across, looks over his options. The Coyotes' power play let them down at a key point. Sometimes the power play's out of sync from the second they drop the puck. That was one of them. They didn't move it well. They didn't skate with any speed into the zone. They didn't get set up. That thing was a write-off. Using the point. The pass fails, and the puck goes skittering out to center. And now it's directed to Landeskog. Broke that play up at center. Into the attacking end. Pass off the mark, thanks to the defender's stick. Pass attempt to McKinnon. Slid to Zadarov. Moves it to the corner. Nice play with the stick. Nothing more will come. And Rick to Zadarov. Ooh, what a break. Shot hit the man. He had a great chance, but he has just missed the net. He doesn't miss it by much. Big sweeping save. There aren't many ways to slow the game down. This is one of them. Make a save, get a whistle. Arizona's fans got back on their feet after watching the replay of that massive save on the big board. I don't think we're going to see a bigger save than that the rest of the night. Off the face off, he ties his man up, and so the puck goes to his team. Only a few seconds to go before they can celebrate the victory in round three. And the game is over. The series is over. They've won the series and they'll move on. the presentation of the Clarence Campbell Bowl, named for the longtime president of the NHL. It goes to the Western Conference team that goes to the Stanley Cup final. There it is. Will they touch it or not? There's superstition here. And as the tournament moves closer to its conclusion, we hope you'll anticipate the next games as much as we do. This one was fine for us tonight. We hope you enjoyed it, and good night for all of us.